Yeah, I am going to show how to construct a deep neural networks in deep learning for object detection. Here you can see the structure of the deep neural networks. You can see the different layers like convolution, relu, pooling, convolution, relu, pooling and fully connected layers. Based upon these layers only we can create or we, are, we can generate the deep neural networks for detecting an object. Today what type of object I am going to detect means I am going to detect a object as stop. The stop signals only I am going to detect. So in order to detect the stop signal first we have to generate a database. So in order to make the database we have to collect all the stop signal images then keep it is in a particular folder. I am, I am collecting all the images and keep it in a folder as stop. So uh, check it whether all the images having the stop signal. So outside of the database I am taking one image that is the input of the image. Here also you can see the you can find the stop signals which is located in the first. So before creating the deep neural network we have to train all the images. So training is nothing but we are in the, uh, we are providing the predefined some input to the neural networks. So we have to provide the particular image and particular position of the object. Then only it will automatically detect the position of the object in the output. So open the MATLAB then provide the initial commands CLC clear all then close all. Then we are providing our input image I am read of 1.jpg then showing it figure comma I am show of then just to save the file in the object direct folder as deep then run the program on dot jpg <coughs> Now we are getting the input image. Here we can see the stop signals. This signal only we are going to detect. Then before constructing that layers, we have to provide the training. Training should be in the form of tables only. So I am taking one variable sample one is equal to open trace. I am taking the image 5 and 6 for training. So Position is stop image 005.jpg, comma stop image 006.jpg. Then take the image sample 2. Then we have to provide the position of the object. I am taking the two images that is image 005 and image 006 then we have to provide the position of the images as a bounding box that means four positions we have to pixel position we have taken we have to take and left right and bottom two so here I am taking the position as 9 980 comma first image position 980 comma 393 31 comma 56 this is the first image position then the second image position is 1040 comma 354 comma 73 comma 72 and this is the second image position of the object. These are the two images I am taking to train the neural network. Then provide the path of the image. I am direct. I am dir is equal to. We have to copy here and full file. Paste it here. I am giving the path position. Then we have to provide the training options. Option is equal to TRA option is equal to TRA 
ing optios steepest decent gradient method fcdm comma minimum patch size pa tch so patch size comma 32 comma in initial running late initial land rate for a t only power minus six comma max epox CHS so this is the training option stdm mini patch size 32 32 cross 32 images only we are giving we are giving as a training initial land rate okay then we have to train the images train is equal to train rc nn object detector object the detector of we have to provide the oh, oh we have to provide the training as a table so we have to create one table table is uh, sorry label is equal to table of sample one comma Number two, so it should be in the form of matrix. So label. Now again, next we have to provide the neural network. I am giving as a PP. Again options. Options come on negative overlap range. comma 0 to 0 0.3 so I train the neural network as an object label VP options mm, VP options negative overlap range overlap range ok mm, now I train the image train the neural network so here I am using the this is the neural network structure PP so I have to load it so again I am loading it load pp so this is the position of the image and but, uh, corresponding label this is the neural network this is the training options now we, have, we can train the neural network so let me run it you can see the command window yeah i think it's going well now first step is extracting region proposal from two, two training image already we have given only two images just ext uh, extracting that portion of the object in order to provide the train you learn to classify the object in a train ok now that a network train completed then we have to classify otherwise uh, identify our object already we, uh, we read our image input image next generate the uh, we have to provide the input we have to provide the variable as uh, b box b box comma score comma label is equal to detect of trained neural network tran train comma input image input image we are taking as a a a comma minimum patch size patch size mini ATH SIC comma 32 now we can yeah 
this is the detect then we have to find the maximum score s c o r e comma and the index equal to max of s c o r e then the detected image detect img is equal to already uh, we detect the bounding box no just we are detect, uh, we are just applying the bounding box to the particular object insert object annotation of which image we are going to inside that is the input image a comma type rectangle comma b box bounding box sorry b box comma annotation T -T -I -O -N. now we can show the detected object detect img so once again i am checking it b box score label detect score detect img insert object oh no no sorry Mm, annotation a comma rectangle comma b box comma annotation okay now we can check it uh, what i uh, still now what i uh, what i have done is just uh, i have taken two training images and the particular position then given the training option then train the recurrent neural network then just i check in based upon the training data a is the input images trna is the trained data i am taking just two images and training it then finally i am getting a b box b box means that uh, four corner values will be we are getting that is the b box then just inserting that uh, our input image that is the a which, is, which will be in the form of rectangle then just i am showing that image now let's uh, run it run now you can check the command window so extract, uh, extracting the training images in that uh, position of the object from two train images because I, am, I, I, I have taken only two training images from the image from the stop folder so extracting the region then it's training it's two training I am getting the patch accuracy is 96.8 patch loss is getting 0 0.1 so it's very less so it will get some it will get it will take some time because needs deeply analyzing the images So I am passing it. Yeah, now the training is completed. Now it's checking with our input images and it's checking by 32 by 32 pixels whether the stop image is there, stop signal that uh, stop object is there. It is checking for the full image. If anywhere if it is found that stop signals mean the bounding box will be there. So it is getting its time taking more time. So why I am taking two images means here I am using the CPU. If I use the GPU only I can give more images uh, images and I can train no, no it's some gear is getting or not fresh oh. okay only
yeah we have to provide the annotation so b box of index comma st as brand of confidence score then you are mm, mentioning the annotation here now we can check the images we can run the program once again run it check the command window extracting the region of that two training images it's making sound because gpu only best for training the images in deep learning but i, I have totally 41 images but i just used two images only for training because cpu's capacity is mm, much low it will take some time it's now it's running with input image and checking the object symbol you can see the command window Now the testing is going on, training completed. It's taking much time. Yeah. reading all the pixels of the input image yeah finally we can on the output we can see the stop signals it's detected here so this is the image which I given the input so it automatically detect the stop signals from the image based upon the training now now I given the uh, one dot jpg now again I am uh, give, um, giving one more image from the database, I am giving this image and uh, naming as image 0 to 6. Input image 0 to 6. Let's check it how the output is coming. Run it. See the command window. This is our input image which we given. It's taking time, so I'm pausing it. Yeah, now it's taking testing now it's checking all the pixels where the stop signal is present yeah finally we can detect the automatically detect the stop signals so like that we can give other images if you give the other images also it is automatically correctly detecting the that is stop signal object so this is what here we have seen today how to detect the object in images one more thing you can have the doubt that uh, how we are feeding this pp 
TP is the recurrent neural network. This is the neural network which consists of more number of layers as I said earlier. If you go for command window, if you type it in PP means you can see the layers. What are the layers? I have used an image, input convolution, back pulling, relu, convo, relu, average pulling. Finally, I am get, getting the classification output. So this is what in the first slide I have shown you. This kind of structures only I'm we are generating the deep neural networks. So these 15 layers I have used to construct the recurrent neural network. Based upon the neural networks only I can detect the pro detect the uh, object. Uh, you can see the neural networks I am, I am uh, storing it as a PP. This is the layers. Otherwise, this is the neural network which I stored here. Then I just load it here. Here I am loading it. Line number 7. The same thing only. Again I am loading here. Train here. So based upon the recurrent neural network, we can detect the object. Like that we can detect other kind of object like car, bus, like that we can detect it. Then we have to use the GPU instead of using CPU. By using CPU only I have just given the two images and the particular label. And one more thing. Uh, we are given uh, we are given the training as a bounding box four uh, four values only we are given like that we are getting the output b boxes four four output only we are getting this is the four portions of the image pixel portion that means left right bottom right bottom left like that this is only we are giving the training input also like that we are getting the output in the four boxes these four uh, bounding boxes only we are giving it here in sample 2 i hope that you understand if any doubt means you can call me or mail me or you can contact me via phone so i can help you so this is the uh, program which is generated so you can use it your projects and other things thank you